What's up everybody, welcome back to Supreme Tech, where you can learn tech for free on YouTube. Now this video, I'm going to show you how to benchmark your PC, uh, meaning your CPU and your GPU. You can benchmark them separately, together, uh, but these are going to be 10 of the best benchmarks that you can use. Uh, I'm also going to show you how to use it because a lot of the other videos I've watched, um, they just break down how to download, how to install it. They don't really get into how to use it. So I'm going to show you how to use at least two or three of these different ones, but I'm going to show you 10 of them. So feel free to download and install any of them. I'm going to have links all in the description below. Uh, before we get into it, though, if you're new, make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button if this helps you out. Also, turn on the post notifications so you know whenever I come out with brand new videos. So let's hop on a computer and I'm going to show you the list of all these different benchmarks. Then I'll break down a couple of them more in depth for you. So I have a Trello list here. Um, first of all, we got all our Ungen benchmarks, which is going to be Superstition, Valley, Heaven, um, Tropics and Sanctuary. So you can come to this website, uh, link in the description. And when you come up here to benchmarks, you can click on any of these and say we want heaven and then you're going to click right here where it says free download and these are some of the most popular ones they've been around forever um, you can get a score when you're done and then you can go look online and compare your score to other scores um, for other people's pcs and see where you fall you know if you might need to upgrade your system or if you have a really high tier system okay it's just a way to compare it, right? Um, after that, we got 3D Mark, which is just another great one. This one has a lot of different paid things that you can uh, mess around with. They got things like 3D Mark, PC Mark 10, and VR Mark. Um, this is a little bit more on the premium side. Moving on, we got User Benchmark. Um, you can speed test everything here. You can speed test your SSD, GPU, CPU, uh, RAM, hard drive, whatever you want to test, you can test it. Okay. Um, you can click on the link below and come and read a little bit more about it. But this is just another great one to try out. After that, we got Geekbench. Um, just again, another good one. They got the score system here. All the ones I've showed you so far, they all have a scoring system, right? Um, the basics of it is you click start, you know, you download it, you click start, you let it run its benchmarks, and then you'll get a score, and then you can compare that score to other systems with your same components. And then another one that is amazing, that is honestly one of the top tier uh, free benchmarks that you can get, is going to be Cinebench. And this is going to be one of the ones that I break down a little more how to use later in the video. So stick around for that. So after all those ones, Cinebench, Valley, Heaven, all that, those are all the scoring system ones, right? Now I'm going to show you ones that are more um, live preview of what's going on. So we got stuff like MSI Afterburner, um, HW Monitor, HW Info. Those are two separate programs. But they pretty much do the same thing almost. Um, AMD Ryzen Master if you have an AMD system. And last but not least, um, you always got your task manager. So if you're using Windows 10, you just type in task manager down here. And you can come look at the performance. You can see what your all your different components are doing. Um, you can see the speed that they're running at. But this is a little bit limited. This is more for beginners, right? Um, I just thought I'd mention it because it is another way to benchmark your system. So now that we got all of them listed off, let's go ahead and open up Cinebench. And I'm going to show you how to use it uh, step by step. So once you've clicked the link in the description and you download Cinebench, um, what the first thing that we want to do is figure out what Cinebench we want. Um, right now, R23 is the newest version, and I recommend using that. Um, I wouldn't go for any of the older ones. I mean, you can, but if you want the newest and the best, this is the one to pick. Um, first thing, when you open it up, they're going to ask you to agree to their uh, terms. You just click I accept, and then you'll be brought to this here. 
okay after that what you want to do is click on file at the top and then you want to make sure advanced benchmark is checked okay after that it's as simple as picking if you want to measure the multi-core or single core and then you just click whichever start button you want to test um, I'd recommend doing the multi-core one but if you want to see what your single cores are doing you can uh, but most people are going to do the multi-core so all you do is click start and they're going to pop up this picture that I'm sure you've seen before it's a famous picture everybody knows what it is um, it's just, just the picture of the three chairs right and it just let your system run um, I got a Ryzen 7 5800X so it is chopping through this pretty quick yours might be a little slower yours might be faster depending on what uh, types of components you got in your PC the one I got I'm real happy with this um, if you can get your hands on it um, I would definitely recommend this CPU it really tears through some stuff it's fast it's really fast uh, so now we're just letting this finish up we're almost done here all right so we see the score okay it'll show up down here on the bottom left it's got 15,073 that's the score that I got now you can look here and compare it to these other ones that they got um, like see here this is a Threadripper this is an Intel Xeon another Threadripper and then mine now this really isn't the best way to compare it so I'm going to show you a website that you can go to to type in your score okay guys I'm here on cpumonkey.com um, just google CPU monkey and you'll be able to find it now what you want to do is just scroll down a little bit and find which ones you have so we had the Cinebench R23 and we we're doing multi-core so we go ahead click it and we can scroll down now don't be too worried if you're not really towards the top because some of these are crazy crazy processors like the Threadripper 3990X it's got a score of 74,422 so that's ridiculous but then you just come down here and find where your CPU is and mine's right here Ryzen 7 5800X and their score is 15,245 so we're running at pretty much the same as what it's saying here uh, so we know we don't have any real bottlenecks but that's how to use Cinebench right again this is one of the most popular ones let's go ahead and close this down and let's go and open up HW monitor okay this is one of the ones that I was saying that is like a live preview and I love this one this has so much information for you to check out you can see live statistics of what's going on we got voltages temperatures you got RPMs of all your fans you can look at the voltages of each core you can look at powers currents clocks utilizations um, all types of stuff to make it a little more simple what I'm gonna do is minimize some stuff okay so if you um, close them all down like this you can actually pinpoint each component so say we just want to look at our GPU we click this button here next to it and it's got all our voltages temperatures everything for just the GPU okay another thing I like about this is they show you the hot spot on your GPU because most of them will just show you the overall temperature but this one will show you what is the hottest part of the GPU um, what's that temperature you can see it's running at 67 degrees on the hot spot and we're running at 53 degrees on just the GPU itself okay you can also click on file and go to save monitoring data you can mess around with some of the settings up here but usually once you download it it's good to go you don't really have to change any settings if you don't want to um, you can just get to benchmarking your system okay 
so that's hw monitor um let me show you msi afterburner real quick now you can't see the statistics on your screen unless you're running a game or something so let me go ahead and open up fortnite so this is what it looks like here um you can customize all of this um for whatever you want to show up you can have only one thing pop up or you can have a whole list all the way down of every single um different benchmark that you want to keep track of right all right so i just shut the volume off so you guys could hear but um this is just what i like to monitor i like to monitor the gpu usage the gpu temp the vram and the gpu core clock i also like to see the temp of the cpu um the utilization of the cpu so just basically how much percent of the cpu is it using on the workload um then ram and then i also like to do the fps obviously and the frame time which is your response time in milliseconds uh, now if you want to change any of this stuff i got a whole nother video on msi afterburner i'll put a cue card up now just click that and it'll explain everything you need to know uh, now you guys can change every single thing on here uh, with the Riva tuner so let me just show you what that is real quick if you can't find it it already downloaded when you downloaded MSI afterburner it should ask you you know download Riva tuner 2 and then once you open up MSI afterburner you can come click on this little arrow that shows the hidden icons and it looks like this here it's just like a little um, monitor with a 60 in the corner. Then you can uh, do the zoom size. You can mess with all this stuff, change the color, change everything you want. Um, you can also come to the settings down here and go to monitoring. And this is where you change everything that shows up. Okay. If it says in OSD, that means it's on the on-screen display um, it can't be on the on-screen display if it's not checked so if it doesn't have a check mark just check it and it'll say in on-screen display if it doesn't you just click on this little box here and then you click apply another one I forgot to mention is fraps okay this is just another benchmarking software you could check out so I think that about does it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. Hope it helps you to benchmark your PC. If it did, make sure to smash that like button and turn on the post notifications. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We're about to break 25,000 guys. So let's help us out on doing that. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll catch you in the next one.